Hello sunshines and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Linda Uche Udungo and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based here in Lagos, Nigeria. Here I create content that will inspire you to live your best life and enjoy every phase of it as a mom and as a woman in general. And so if you are interested in content like this, please do subscribe to my channel and don't turn up and turn off the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, thank you to my returning subscriber for your constant support and I love you guys. I really, really do love you guys. Yeah, today I'll be sharing with you, I call it the best tips on how to be a productive mom. Yeah, the best tips on how to be a productive mom. As we all rightly know that being a mom or motherhood in general can be very overwhelming because as a mom, you have the responsibility of your family to take care of the home, do the laundries, supervise. If you have people that will do those for you, you need to supervise them, do the dishes, cook, meal plan, and every other thing that has to do with motherhood being a mom and taking care of the home and the family. You know, the responsibility is a lot and sometimes it can be overwhelming, it can be stressful and even frustrating. Yeah, and it's, most times you have so many things to do, you have lots of things to do and there is not even enough time for you to accomplish them. And so that is why today's video it will be very helpful to you as a mom, to each and every one of us, if we can go follow these tips to be able to be productive, to be able to be organized and live our life as more. So the number one thing on my list for you to be productive as a mom is for you to have a plan, have an agenda, know what you want to do for the day, have a to-do list, write them down. Yes, because sometimes with the stress of the work at home, the stress of the kids and taking care of everyone and managing everyone and everything at home, you could be so stressful and you forget that you have things you want to do you could even forget certain things that could even just be just little things that easily you shouldn't forget you could forget them because you are so overwhelmed with the work at home and so first and foremost have a plan what do i want to do what do i need to do today what do i need to do for the week what do i need to do for the month write them down you could get a planner get a to-do list like myself i have a to-do list on my phone where i put things down i write things down things i want to do for the day things i want to do for the week yes your planner could be weekly you could do a weekly a plan a daily plan or monthly plan depending on the type of chores or the type of things you need to want to achieve for the day for the week and for the month yeah and so for you to be a productive one for you to be productive and you know and and live your life and live your live enjoy yourself or as a mom you need to have a plan you need to write your plans down and have your agenda written down that way you will be able to achieve more in your day in the week and in the month up to the next one create a routine for yourself and for your family this is another way that you could be productive as a mom yeah we all know that it's very stressful it's very you know it's very uh, you could be so overwhelmed with work you could be so busy in a day and most times you won't even be able to finish and do all that you want to do yes because you have a lot to do and so creating a routine for yourself and for your family will help make the work go smoothly yeah for instance while you're cooking you could do the dishes or you can decide okay every night i'll do all my dishes finish the dishes clean and arrange the kitchen before you go to bed so that when you wake up in the morning you come into the kitchen that is a clean that, that is already clean you don't need to begin to clean or wash the dishes before you start your day the kitchen is already clean and ready for you to use yeah and so you also do create also routines for your family too you know so everybody knows what they are supposed to do at any particular time yeah this is also one way that you you will be productive as a mom being productive as a mom involves so many things you need to do there are so many things that you need to do and most of the tips and tricks that i use for myself that help me to be productive you know is build plan you know you plan your meals and plan them ahead 
yeah, have a meal plan. Yeah, because this could also save you the cost of, you know, sometimes we have so many things we are thinking about. We think we plan the meal for the day, plan the meal for the week, and sometimes we get, you know, our head is so full that we get, we run out of ideas for meals and, you know, things to do. And so when you have a meal plan, it will guide you. Yeah, it will guide you as a mom and it will, leave, it, will, it will ease you of the stress of every time thinking what do we cook, what do, I, what do we have for lunch, what do we have for dinner. Yeah, have a meal plan. Your meal plan could be a weekly meal plan. It could be, you could do it monthly and you could also recycle the meal plans too. Yeah, you could also recycle the meal plans, use the old ones, maybe the ones you used the weeks before, use it for today and like that and you create new ones. And it will also help you when you are doing your grocery shopping too. The meal plan will help you to know the things that you need to buy for the house so you don't buy things that you guys won't need for the day, you know, for the day or for the week. You know, understand me. So having a meal plan will also help you to be productive. Also, plan your meals ahead. You don't need to wait until, let's say, maybe you know that the child will be going to school tomorrow, maybe with yams or potatoes or something. Sometimes you could start pre meal prepping with the night ahead, like myself. If my son will go with yam, fried yams or boiled yams or potatoes, I start, pe I peel the potatoes the night before, wash them, put them even in the pot that I used to cook it and freeze, put it in the freezer. The next morning I wake up, I just bring out the pot straight on the cooker and I begin to make a school lunch for the day and to save lots of time, you know, from just doing that the night before. Yeah, planning ahead is also another way to be productive as a mom. That you know, can never, never, never be um, overemphasized. Yeah, you plan ahead. You don't wake up in the morning to begin to look for your socks, your baby socks for the school, or maybe you have an event you want to attend, you're going to church, or you're going to, you know, you're going out for an event, you're going to work or somewhere, and you begin to look for your one leg of your shoes or one leg of your baby socks. You understand me? When you know you are going out today, tomorrow, you start today to begin to plan, bring out, sort out your clothes, sort out the shoes, your baby shoes, sort out your, dab, your baby dabba bag, if you have babies, sort them out, arrange them and keep them so that it will be easy for you You wake up, you take your bath, you dress up and leave the, of the house. Like myself, I do sometimes, I plan a week ahead, like on Sundays, uh, for what time my son we went to church on Sunday, I've already prepared, I prepare it a week ahead. Once we come back from church on Sunday, the next Monday, I've started to plan, prepare what are we are going to wear for the next Sunday. I bring them out, sort them out. All those that need to be ironed, I iron and hang them. Just arrange them and keep them so that I will have time to do other things. Especially if you have so many things you are doing. So there are times you need to even do your planning a week ahead. You know you'll be traveling in four or five days time. Why wait for the night before you begin to pack? You could do your packing three, four days before the day of the traveling. You pack and arrange. It will save you a lot of time so that you will not even forget things that you are you need for the journey or you need for the day or need for the event. And it will be stress-free for the day and you will look all worked up because we are busy running around looking for one thing or the other. And that has really helped me too as a mom. Another point is cook in batches. You know, <laughs> as moms, we are always busy, especially kitchen-wise. We must make sure there's food for us to eat, for the family to eat, lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Sometimes, you most, why not you just use a day to make the food for a month or for a week? You can do it in a day, just few hours, and you are done with the month or for the week. You won't be entering the kitchen, you won't be cooking, staying long hours in the kitchen that you are cooking. Yeah, you could make large pots of soup, you could make four to four, two to three different types of soup and put in the freezer, you could put them in portions and freeze them up. You could make stews in large quantities and portion them and freeze them up. You could do sauces, so many things, just put them down and put them in the freezer. Whenever you need them for lunch or for dinner, you just go to the freezer get a batch out and in the microwave or the cooker and lunch or dinner is ready. How good can that be? You understand me? You don't, you can't, in fact, if you are doing this or if you have tried before, at least you will know uh, it's a very, very good tip. 
below. If you haven't tried it, please try it and you will see that you will spend less time being in the kitchen. You won't always be there. If you are there, you just few minutes you are out of the kitchen and you have time for other things, you know. You don't have to over-label yourself over, you know, just my dear, bulk cook, batch cook and be able to achieve every other thing that you want to do or your goals for the day. Another thing I want to add to that is start dinner early. Yeah especially most at home moms you know you you'll be eating beans for dinner or whatever you want to eat or make for dinner don't wait until late, late in the night don't wait until six o'clock before you start cooking by right there you could start by four you could start by three to prepare the dinner or like me if i want to cook beans for dinner or if i know we eat beans for dinner by four i've started preparing it so that latest by six o'clock i'm out of the kitchen because i don't like to cook at night i don't like to be in the kitchen at night say i'm cooking sweating all sweat up and all worked up and you just be too tired and so try to plan your dinner ahead yeah plan your dinner ahead another way that you can be productive as a mom is you clean as you go you don't wait until the whole house is all messed up and dirty. You don't wait until the laundry basket is filled with so many dirty clothes. You don't wait until the sink or the kitchen is filled with dirty dishes or so dirty before you begin to clean. As you are cooking in the kitchen, you begin to clean. You begin to arrange the kitchen. Whatever you are doing, you clean. You just, you don't wait on it until everywhere is dirty and dusty because it becomes too much for you to do or you you be too busy to be able to complete the task for the day. And so what do you do? You clean as you go. When you have few clothes, you just, and you have a spare time, you take the clothes and put in the washing machine. And that one has been sorted out. You clean and you dust as you go. Sometimes when I'm taking my bath and I feel like, okay, let me do some touch up on the bathroom. I just clean the bathroom just lightly because it's not so dirty. I just touch up some places and the bathroom is clean again. So I ease myself of the stress because in within time, I'm done with what I'm doing and I have time to do other things for myself or to attend an event or whatever I want or even rest, you understand me? So you follow up on all these tips that I give to you and you'll see that it will work out for you and you enjoy yourself as a mom. Also, get the children involved in the chores or in helping you out involve them involve the children don't say that they are too young or they are too small yeah you could get give them age appropriate chores to do yeah my one my three-year-old son when he comes back from school he knows that when he pulls off his shoes he takes it to where we keep his keep them he knows when he takes off his socks or his shorts he drops it at the laundry in at the laundry basket or the laundry room and so the time I will use to do that, he has done it for me, so I can make his lunch or do something else for you know for the day. And you can see. So children most times they love to join you, they love to help you, you know, to do things. That's why you see when you are doing certain things, you see the children they want to, especially little one, they want to also do or join you in doing it. And so when you involve them, give them age appropriate chores to do. Those that can do the dishes, you give them the dishes to do. Those cars that can load, load the washer, the washing machine, you give them the job to do it. Those that can clean or dust the house or sweep, whatever, you give them age appropriate jobs to do. Involve them. You could also make it fun, make it maybe a competition. You know, the first to finish gets an ice cream or we get, you know, just not really to bribe them. You don't understand what I mean, not really to bribe them, just to add fun to make it live, you put music, everybody's singing, everybody's dancing, and the work is being done. You understand me? So you don't have so much to do. When everyone is involved, you don't need to do it all alone because you're not a superwoman. Yeah, you're just a human being that has the responsibility of being a mom. And so you have to be productive. You have to involve your family, involve your children to help out in house chores. And so you have the time for yourself, you have the time to do other things and you become so productive as a mom. Lastly, I will say moms, take care of yourself. Yeah, what did I say? I say take care of yourself. Yes, for you to be a productive mom or to have a productive day as a mom, you have to take care of yourself. You have to give yourself time to rest, to reboot, 
below because we have lots a lot of responsibility on us on our shoulders we take care of the home take care of the children take care of everyone but ourselves we don't need to let ourselves out because it's only when you have been able to take care of yourself that you'll be able to take care of others you know yeah because if you're sick if you're down if you are not strong you won't be able to play your role as a mom. you won't be able to take care of your kid you won't be able to take care of the mom. you won't be able to do anything you won't be productive and so for you to be a productive mom, take good care of yourself find time to rest even if it's just few minutes 20 minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes just sneak in to the bedroom go somewhere just relax cool off breathe in some fresh air and let out you know and just cool off take a drink take a nap whatever because the brain the mind the body needs that reboot to be able to function again please moms don't forget to take care of yourself in all of this you do take time out you know to do something for yourself you know to pamper yourself go to the salon go to the spa you know hang out with friends just do anything that you know will be relaxing for you watch a movie and you know go to the cinema anything that you know will make you relax and refresh do it so that you will have a healthy body a healthy mind and a healthy mom so that you'll be productive so guys i hope this video has been so helpful and inspiring to you and uh, i i hope you get to try one or two of these this, or even all the tips and tricks because they have really been so helpful to me they have helped me and i know that there are people or there are ones out there who have tried some of these tips and is helping them be productive as, as moms and i hope that you will get to try them and if you do please leave a comment down there in the comment section so that i will know how helpful it was to you and uh, i want to say a big thank you for watching this video please if you do like this video please give it a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet to my channel and uh, do watch my other videos yes i have a video on motherhood struggles and you know stress and how stressful motherhood is and some other videos too that i have please do watch my other videos and help to grow my channel love 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 to you uh, guys bye